Wow, to be able to get a kickoff every morning on set at my television show like this, I wouldn't need coffee as much as I do. I mean, the energy in this room is just fantastic. And it's an honor to be here at my first um, Advocacy Day. And um, I just wanted to share a little bit of my story so it could help inspire you as well. Um, my formative years growing up in South Texas were spent in public school education with limited resources for the arts. However, what my school provided in arts education, it changed my life. It was at the age of 12 when I saw my first musical. My father took me to the Harlingen Municipal Auditorium in Harlingen, Texas to see a chorus line. You know the show. It was at that moment I knew that a profession in the performing arts was my destiny. I told my father, I want to do that. I can do that. And at that age, I was already studying ballet, tap, and jazz in a local dance studio, Melba's Dance School in McAllen, Texas. And when I learned a chorus line required the skill of singing and acting along with dancing, my mother suggested that I join the choir instead of the middle school band. I really wanted to play the drums as well. I knew to be able one day to perform in a chorus line, I had to be equally strong in dancing, in acting, and in singing. I had to be a triple threat. And joining my public school's choir program enhanced not only my skills to be the working actor you see today, it also changed me as a person. The definition of art comes in many forms. For example, art is defined as the product of human creativity. Joining my public school choir taught me how to be a better, well-rounded human being. I learned teamwork, I learned respect, I learned empathy, I learned how to be a better person to my classmates. I learned to err is to be human. I also learned to be an accomplished artist required skills in my other studies in school, like math, science, history, and English. Therefore, I truly believe arts education stands as one of the pillars of a well-rounded education. The importance of arts education cannot be overstated. So along with being an actor on film, television, and Broadway, I have had an equal passion for educating the next generation of artists, especially those in places like South Texas. I have experienced firsthand what arts education can do not only for artists, but for students of all walks of life. I have, I have taught dance classes from private schools to inner city schools, from housing authority communities to universities specializing in the performing arts. And I can assure you that I witnessed a change in these students' attitudes about life and about themselves when they walked out of my classroom. So I recently reached out to friends, family, and fans on social media, asking them to share how arts education has influenced their lives. The countless, I cannot tell you this, but the, I mean, explain the, the personal stories that were shared that day. They left me speechless and overwhelmed and my heart so full. The real stories came not just from people in the arts profession. These personal stories came from people who were affected by arts education to pursue their professions in medicine, law, politics, science, engineering, and education, just to name a few. Not only did arts education help them achieve their careers of their dreams, it also helped them survive their lives. Stories about self-discovery, about discovering self-esteem, dealing with parents' divorce, overcoming a disability, finding common ground with an enemy, choosing to live instead of taking their own life, coping with the loss of a loved one, claiming self-worth for the first time, and witnessing their veteran grandfather work through his PTSD with art therapy. These are but a few of the stories shared that day. So I would like to share with you one of those stories I received that day on social media, and I quote this woman, who I don't know. Dance helped me move through an abusive childhood and find my voice. I learned I was brave and powerful and beautiful, not at home, but on the stage. I have met my very best friends through the arts. 
My life is fuller and richer because I learned how to embrace everyone else's talent as well as my own. Art made me the woman I am today without a doubt. And Michelle Chernikoff is a communication specialist for the National Forensic Science Technology Center and lives in Florida with her husband. What I learned from my, fan, my friends, my family, and my fans is that we are all the same. We have all been affected by arts education, including all of us on Capitol Hill. That is why I stand here with you today, because together we can bring attention to the cause and effects of the arts and arts education. I believe together we can work with decision makers from across the country and here in Washington and at home. Together, we can assure that we as a nation are supporting our students, our communities, and ourselves. And it is our responsibility to give the future generations what was given to us, a chance to live our lives to the fullest. Thank you.